My name is Father Tom Cuffel. I'm a priest for the Diocese of Fairbanks, Alaska, on loan from Lincoln, Nebraska. I came up here in 2016 at the invitation of our bishop, Bishop Chad Zielinski. He asked me to come up and spend three years, and then he asked me to spend another three years up here. And so I'll be leaving in 2021. So far I've been out into the western Alaska where you see the Bering Sea and the beautiful tundra. Now I'm in Fairbanks where I travel around in the interior, <clears throat> going to Healy Ninana. Healy is right next to Denali Park, the great big mountain, Denali. And the reason why I came up here is because it's a great adventure. Also, it's important to have many many challenges in your life and experiences so that you grow in the priesthood and become a holy priest. That's why I'm here. I invite you to come too. Hi, I'm Father Welcome Chipiro from Zimbabwe. I have worked in priesthood for 11 years. I have worked as a pastoral care worker in more than six parishes now. I have worked in schools as a chaplain. I have also worked with the refugees in Zimbabwe who come from the Great Lakes, DRC, Rwanda, Congo, and other places. And it's good to be a priest. You save the vulnerable. You save people of God, you direct people to God. Thank you very much. My name is Father Gerald Ernowski. I belong to the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception, and I've been working in Alaska for 35 years. Uh, I called, uh, felt called to this life because uh, I heard that there were remote areas which were badly in need of priests and I always like to have a challenge, and so this was a challenge for me to uh, live off of the land in small villages uh, 400 miles from the nearest road, no running water, uh, traveling by snow machine between villages, hunting with the men of the village for much of my own food, and uh, trying to be a presence of Jesus Christ in their midst. Uh, it has been a very rewarding uh, vocation for me, and although I'm now working in Fairbanks, uh, I treasure the memories that I had amongst those little people who live such a difficult life in remote places. And uh, I also spent uh, time on Little Diomede Island, which is just two and a half miles from the big island of Big Diomede, the Russians. And I lived there on walrus and wild birds and wild birds' eggs. It was a great experience, uh, one that very, very few people have the opportunity to enjoy. So um, anybody, if you've got the love in your heart for Jesus, he will see you through uh, no matter what, even in tough times. I just recovered from uh, radiation therapy uh, of, of prostate cancer. So back to the work amongst the people in northern Alaska. Hi, my name is Father Philip Tron and I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of Miami and I've been visiting the Diocese of Fairbanks, Alaska for the last three weeks and I've been here on mission. I've been helping out at a church. Uh, it's always been something that's been on my heart, helping out in a place with only 17 priests but has an area the size, one and a half size uh, of Texas. And it's been a dream of mine to help the people here, and it's been an amazing and incredible experience. Uh, it's been uh, so enriching f for me, and just all of the experiences in the state and the priests, it's just very encouraging. Uh, please remember to pray for myself and for all of the priests and for vocations. And uh, we'll all be praying for you, of course, remembering you in Mass. Oh yeah, and that's right, go Miami Hurricanes. I'm Father Jonathan Dellinger, and it's great to be here with you all today. And I've been a priest for 14 years now. I was ordained on St. Matthias, and my first Mass was the uh, Pentecost Sunday. And 14 years ago, a little bit more than 14 years ago now, I have worked, uh, I have worked in, in the, I'm from, actually I'm from the Archdiocese of Denver, Colorado. I'm working on the missions here in Alaska, the Diocese of Fairbanks. It's been a great blessing for me to be here. 
One of the greatest things about being a priest is, for me, is sitting before our Lord God in silence and listening to Him in silence and hearing Him speak to me in silence. And for me, that gives me the strength that I need to bring the truth to those whom God has given to me to shepherd for His glory and honor.